there's no one way or one right way to kind of do things, but really leaning into yourself, doing what works for you to get the best output that you know that you can achieve. My name is Ryan Mundy. I am a dreamer, a doer, about the journey, and I am black and unlimited. Looking in the mirror at the new me. I started playing football in 1992, and that experience was not love at first sight. I was grossly underutilized for the skills that I was bringing to the table. And I told my dad I don't want to play football anymore. I'm very thankful that my dad got me back out onto the field because had he not done that, I may not be sitting here today. In 2008, I got drafted back to my hometown team, and it was just like written out of a movie script. We also won a Super Bowl in my rookie year, so uh, I got off to a pretty great start. To win the Super Bowl, like that's the pinnacle of not only football, but a lot of folks would say of sports. I was just very, very thankful that I had a front row seat to understand what greatness looks like and had an opportunity to experience that early on in my career. Mental health played a very important part of my athletic career. My whole life was built around football, and then when you're no longer doing that, it's like, wow the rug really gets pulled up from under you. And I realized that for the first time in my life, I really needed help outside of myself to understand who I am and identify like what the path forward looked like for me. I didn't see anybody who was solving a problem that I had uh, and a problem that my family members and folks who look like me had. And so I decided to step up to the plate and do something about it. I created Alchemy to transform what is supposed to be our best asset and that being our health how can we transform our health into gold? Our mission is to create generational health, and we have a vision in which a world in which black health disparities are non-existent. There's a lot of access barriers and inefficiencies as it relates to health. Starting out with stigma, particularly around mental health, we just don't have those conversations. And so there needs to be more uh, community as it relates to black men taking good care of themselves in, in a more proactive fashion. People just want to know what to do or how to do things. It's a big responsibility, man. Everybody thinks that you got to figure it out. I'm like, uh, I'm just more open about talking about why I don't have it figured out. Mm -hmm. The barbershop is 1000% a part of my self-care routine, but it, it also represents something deeper, a space uh, where I have to sit and be still. Running a mental health startup and still being dad and still being husband. It's really been a fulfilling experience for me because having the support of my family foundation and them giving me the agency and the space to do what I do on a daily basis, that is a very important part of what keeps me black and unlimited. I'm extremely proud to be black. I, I mean, I don't even know how to put that into words. That feeling in and of itself is beautiful and it just happens each and every time, right? Like we're still what I believe the most influential community globally. And so imagine what happens when we get healthy. And so that's what Unlimited means to me and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing on a daily basis.